Uh, your next comic, another very, very funny lady tearing up the scene. She'll actually be at the Full State Comedy Show tomorrow night at Gallery 5. And Monday, she'll actually be doing the show, um, fuck, what's the name of it? I'm sorry. Two and a Half Trick Pony. It's an artsy comedy, fun, magical ride that is going to be mystical and you will love it. But that will be Monday night at Bottoms Up Pizza. Go check it out. But while we still got it here, give it up for Miss Jamie O'Connor. Hey guys, how are you doing? Good. Yay! Um, so my name's Jamie and I'm adopted. Uh, anytime uh, I tell people that, they feel the need to say something like, Aw, at least your parents chose you. And I mean, I get it, they're like being nice or something. Um, but it makes me look like a bitch when I have to correct them and be like, Actually, Child Protective Services assigned me to them. <laughs> but I was really lucky, I got adopted by two uh, wonderful, uh, beautiful, supportive lesbian moms uh, who just legally got married last weekend. Yeah, <laughs> wait a I feel like we finally changed our slogan, like, Hi! Hello! Good to see you! Good to see you, too. You're awesome! I didn't know you did comedy, dude! Well, now you do. I do. <laughs> Go ahead! I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Um, it was awesome. But yeah, I feel like as a state, we finally changed our slogan, like, uh, we're actually Virginia is for lovers, instead of, uh, Virginia is for lovers, but no tax benefits for fucking queers. <laughs> like super super stereotypically gay too like like I love my parents but uh, so like one of them is wearing a pantsuit and then the other one is wearing like a vintage lace wedding dress with Doc Martens uh, and of course it's like cut out in the back so you can see all of her back tattoos of like Buddha and uh, other uh, like fairies and crap because she's one of those ladies who's spiritual but not religious um, and then, like, my little brother gave them a poem for his wedding gift. It was so fucking gay. Um, the, only, <laughs> the only thing they didn't do, like, the only thing that, like, could have made it gayer is if they, like, included their dogs in there somehow. But don't worry, they saved plates of food for them. <laughs> so one thing having two really compassionate uh, lesbian moms taught me was a love for dogs. Uh, and then one thing having dogs taught me was I don't ever want children. <laughs> because, the, like, the difference between dogs and kids are, like, if you find a dog, you can just have it. <laughs> a couple of caveats. Uh, you might have to shave it and change its name and, like, download every single post on the Richmond subreddit for, like, a month. But after that, you're good. It's yours. Um, when you do that with children, it's called Amber Alert. <laughs> the FBI is really serious about it. Uh, also, kids don't learn new names as well. Like, you'll be in the grocery store and they'll be like, My name's Emily, and you're like, Shut up, Sarah. No, I'm Sarah. <laughs> um, and they, you walk by the milk aisle, uh, they think the little girl in the milk bottle looks like them, and you're like, No, no, no. Every blonde four year old looks the same. Also, you're a brunette now. Thank you, L'Oreal. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I work in a pet store, unsurprisingly. Uh, crazy, crazy animal people are my life. They're my people. Holla! Yeah. <laughs> uh, the one, the one type of crazy animal lady though that I just I cannot stand is the one with baby voice. <laughs> it's the like 35 year old girl who comes up to the register. She's buying just tons and tons of crap for her dog, uh, and she's like, Yeah, sh sugar only wears blue because it's the only color that really accents her. <laughs> I can't even get squeaky enough. That's how like high pitched and squeaky they are. But they sound like they're about eight, and it's coming out of, like a 35, 40 year old woman's voice. Uh, and the reason those women make me uncomfortable is because I know what happened to them. <laughs> <laughs> I know why they're like that. Uh, their father had boundary issues. <laughs> um, and it's usually some like really <coughs> overweight girl with really nice hair, like. It looks like she spent like 400 bucks on her highlights. Like, they look really good. Um, but I don't want to make up for the fact they're fucking listening. Um, <laughs> it's one of those things that makes me like, it's the first time I've ever thought, like, my parents are obviously terrible, that's why CPS got involved, uh, why I ended up with my mom's. But it's the only thing that makes me think, uh, geez, I'm glad my dad just got drunk and hit me. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> because bruises heal, psychological damage is expensive, and I don't have $40 to spend on my hair. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys, have a great night. Uh, show tomorrow at Gallery 5, it's only $5, and on Monday it's free at Bottoms Up. So, see ya. Jamie O'Connor, ladies and gentlemen, check her out tomorrow night, Gallery 5, $5. Check her out Monday, full free. All right, Jamie O'Connor, one more time, everybody. Yes. Your next comic, this guy is a very lovely man. I love this dude very much. And uh, he, typically, he's not here as much because he's cooking people dinner at comfort. So ladies, this guy is single and he can fucking cook. So get in line, get in line. I'm already, I'm already in line. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my dear friend, Mr. Leo Morena. Hey, oh, good to be back with Hormis. you miss me? Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Zim's Alabama and shit, alright? Uh, I'm in a transitional period. Um, I'm in between beards. <laughs> like, you see this right now? This shit don't fly, guys. It really don't. It, it's itchy. Like, when I scratch it in public, people think I have lice. Like, I thought the stash would be great because the weather was good when I shaved, but this is Virginia, so like, now it's all cold. So, like, I'm just all, like, just shivering out in the cold. Dude, I, I, I'm Latin. We, we're not built for that, okay? That, that's just how it goes, but... Uh, no, I, I still love fall, though, seriously. Like, even though the weather's changing, though, I love Halloween. You guys you guys think Halloween, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, like, the best holiday. Like, like the, it's there's something for everybody in Halloween, right? Even if you just don't like candy, you don't like going out, you don't like dressing up, whatever, you can still just stay at home and just watch... You know, Halloween themed episodes of your favorite TV shows and shit, you know? Halloween taught me about racism in the South. <laughs> no, it did, seriously. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, his neighbor has like a like an animatronic zombie or whatever you want to call it in his yard. And he's like a super redneck, so he's like, oh yeah, man, this thing is great, man. Like, it, it pops out and just scares the kids come out the door. It's fucking awesome, man. It's great. It scares them. You know what I noticed? You know what I noticed? I noticed the black kids are more afraid of it than the white kids. Guys, this is how you know you're dealing with a tried and true racist when they just make shit up. <laughs> okay, because according to this guy now, like, black kids are afraid of zombies. The door is fucking open now. Alright, like, I don't know, fucking Asians hate Skittles. Like, Jews can't play Uno. And Spix can't tell jokes. It happens. Spix need to use their fucking notes right now, apparently. So... Anyway, you no, know, uh, honestly, like Halloween is great because it's, it's it's a constant thing, okay? It really hasn't changed as kids for us, okay? And kids nowadays, like everything's changing for them. It's great for them to have something constant, all right? Because let's face it, there's shit that we were used to growing up that was awesome that for kids nowadays sucks. For example, books, all right? <laughs> like. I, I don't understand this whole Hunger Games, Twilight bullshit. Like that, that wasn't around when I was a kid, all right? Like, uh, how is that popular? Uh, like, wh when I was a kid, like, also, like, uh, cereals had, like, good prizes in them. I got Legos and McCaffrey Crunch. There's books in that shit now. And not even anything good, all right? Like, school as a kid is your job. You go in there for seven, you know, seven hours a day for five days a week. That's your fucking job. Who wants to do that shit outside of work? As an adult, seriously, do you want homework as an adult? No. For, exactly, you know? Hey, hey, Austin, do me a favor. When you get home tonight, I want you to mix like 10 different mixed cocktails before you go to bed. Fuck that. And, and, and make sure each of them has like a separate little garnish. Something fancy, I don't know. Whatever, either way, just, just don't forget to show your work. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, okay? No, back to Halloween. It, it's great because uh, what I have to do is I, I, I get stoned and just hand out candy. Because <laughs> uh, it just, like, I build a lot of brownie points with single mothers in my neighborhood. I live in the ghetto. So they're like, oh man, this dude's like handing out candy. He likes to smoke up. He likes kids. Mm, sign me up. Mm, suck his dick. <laughs> Again, I live in the ghetto. That's just how it happens. I don't know. But it's great though because, I mean, like, I can, I can like, just, you know, just be myself. Because one thing I do love is pro wrestling. You guys like pro wrestling at all? Yeah, everybody does around the world and shit, you know, it's, it's great. 
you know, and, and right now, like one thing I I, I want to like just try to like make popular is just I want like real sports to like get a little more pro wrestling in them, you know, <laughs> like just make it more entertaining. Like there's there's just one thing they do in pro wrestling. It's called Money in the Bank, where like some dude. Like, he basically has a guaranteed shot at a title, all right? How great would that be in regular sports, man? Like, uh, they take advantage of this at any time. Literally, at any time. Like, Floyd Mayweather, he's, he's going in for knee surgery right now. Should be routine, but wait a minute! Manny Pacquiao's cashing in his money in the bank, and he's gonna proceed to beat the shit out of Floyd Mayweather in his hospital bed. And it should be a pretty easy match because he's already unconscious. You know, anesthesia, that's what it does to you guys. And this show is going nowhere. <laughs> I hate Floyd Mayweather, though. I really do, guys, okay? I'll leave you with this. Like, as much as I hate that dude, like, I really want Nintendo to have, like, a license to deal with this guy. I want Floyd Mayweather's punch out to come out. <laughs> it'd be really sweet, seriously. Like, you know, it'd be like the old punch out. You just go through a bunch of really challenging opponents. You know, like, it's just, they get harder and harder, and when you finally get to the boss, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather all, all he does is just duck you until you're no longer a threat. <laughs> and then once you retire, he just goes out and celebrates for beating his wife. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys have fun. Again, I love Halloween. Stay free, guys. <laughs> Leo! Leo Moreno, ladies and gentlemen. Let him hear it. He made you laugh, he'll cook for you, he's single, ladies, he is DTF, get in line, do it, do it. Alright, uh, your next comic, uh, this guy is one of my favorite people to watch is, cause he's very funny, but I just like watching people react to him, I just love it, and uh, I know that's what I say for him every time I intro him, but I'm always happy when he's here, he always makes me laugh. Give it up for Mr. John Thomas! Hi, I'm John Thomas. That's Filipino for doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys know how good hentai is? <laughs> what? Hentai is so good, we forgave Pearl Harbor. <laughs> you just totally let it go. That's how good Japanese dudes can draw. Fuck it, terrorist attack, forget about it. Have you seen this throbbing Sailor Moon cock? <laughs> <laughs> Is, get on a Muslim so I can forget about 9-11. Looks about a new pornography so I can forget. <laughs> Burkas, walking, talking, glory holes, am I right? <laughs> glory holes can't drive and neither can my wife. Oh! <laughs> and I'm just, that's a Muslim from Jersey. I don't do accents. Why is it that, uh, Nobody, nobody buys used sex toys, but everyone's okay with having sex with strangers. <laughs> Can't chlorize clean herpes. <laughs> Why does a KKK make the horses wear robes? Why? Is the horse racist too? <laughs> Pretty sure the, ho the horse does not hate black people. They hate all people. <laughs> What's a KKK zoo like? Just animals with just robes on top of them, just like telling you what it is. <laughs> hey Jumbo, get over here and look at this elephant! That's not an elephant, that's a donkey with elephant written on the side. You don't know shit about zoology, you be hanging around the Jews again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys think we come from monkeys? <laughs> Alright, Richmond, that's an appropriate response. <laughs> like, well, like, nope. <laughs> Case is still out on that one. <laughs> this is how I know we come from monkeys. Cause monkey pussy looks just like human pussy. <laughs> I see cat pussy, I see dog pussy, I see shark pussy. None of them are equal or look exactly like human pussy. So shut the fuck up, Pat Robson. You know shit. Spend your whole life on that book. The book's wrong. Check out the Discovery Channel. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, as you know, dogs are expensive, all right. Dogs are really expensive. $200, that's a lot of money for a dog. <laughs> Turtles are like 20 cents. <laughs> you could just buy a lot of turtles and just build like a turtle megazord. <laughs> just glue them together and make a dog out of it. <laughs> it's, it's 
so much more sin. You save money, walks are really short. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, that one goes. Adult Friend Finder is a misleading title. I don't want somebody to hook up with or fuck. I just want somebody to play Pokemon with. <laughs> I want to have to buy my own DS. No, get out of here. Who's like, hey, I want to stick my dick through a portal. And I don't care what's on the other side. I just want something to be there. I don't care what. Human, man, female, dog, succubus, demon from another planet. I don't care. Just, you know, put it in your mouth. Just, just, just put it in your mouth. Just, just, shh, shh, shh. Don't talk. Don't talk. Just put it in your mouth. Just do that shit. Are weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Woo! Thank you. Holla! That's surprising from you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that was not what I was expecting. This, it just was not what I was expecting. I thought, pussies! Woo! There you go. That's what I was expecting. Right on cue. You know, they make fake, they make fake penises. But like, they don't make fake pussies. What's up with that? <laughs> like, they make strap-on pieces, but they don't make strap-on pussies. Like, what would you do with it? Like, would you? Flashlight. Well, it's not a strap-on. You, yeah. you hold it in your hand. That's a Flesh manual. Flashlight. Flashlight. It's not, is there a strap-on to it? Is there a belt? You can hold it in your You would know. She wouldn't. Yeah, I would know. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, shut her up. Cunt. You don't know shit about strap-ons. No. You don't know shit about vaginas. Lady. <laughs> There's no way you can get a so, fake. Uh, There's no way you can get a, like a fake pussy unless you're filled with peanut butter, like a dog's toy, like a con. Crunchy though, not creamy. I'm not a fucking weirdo. This fake pussy got clots. This fake pussy needs to go to a fake doctor and get it fake checked out. It's a fake penicillin. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. Uh, 